Uh, thank you very much, Professor Chen, Dr. Sasaki. Uh, before I start, I would like to thank uh, Kyoto University School of Public Health uh, for inviting me here. And today I will be presenting our research findings regarding changes uh, in geographic distribution and patterns of inpatient care in small hospitals in Taiwan from 2004 to 2013. And the uh, second author, uh, Professor uh, Minxin Yang, is, the, uh, is also the uh, co-project inspector of my study. And he is also a uh, colleague uh, from Institute of Health Policy and Management. Uh, there are four, uh, four types of uh, major healthcare providers in Taiwan. Uh, medical centers, regional hospitals, community hospital, and clinics. And the hospital accreditation is linked to uh, this uh, structure of healthcare systems. And also the uh, payment of uh, health insurance uh, is also linked to the, uh, uh, this structure. Uh, ideally, uh, community hospitals are uh, tasked with providing uh, primary cares and treating uh, minor uh, diseases and conditions. Uh, but uh, under the national health insurance, actually we do not have gatekeepers, which means uh, patients can receive treatment at any uh, providers they choose. Uh, so, as you can see here at present, uh, medical centers and regional hospitals provide more than two, uh, 20, uh, twenty percent of inpatient uh, of uh, ambulatory visits, and more than eighty percent of uh, inpatient admissions. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, uh, the number of hospitals, uh, especially uh, the uh, small community hospitals, uh, decreased sharply uh, from nineteen ninety five. Uh, at that time, we launched our National Health Insurance Program until uh, 1915. Uh, and that led to the uh, situation that uh, community hospitals, they protest against the National Health Insurance and blaming that the closure of small hospitals is due to the uh, unequal payment in the he National Health Insurance Plan. Unfortunately, uh, Taiwan is not the only country in the world who, uh, which facing this problem, or we say fortunately, so we can share our experience to each other. Okay. Uh, as reported uh, by the uh, UK uh, news media, uh, the UK government is uh, discussing to have a budget cut uh, for the national health insurance, and that led to uh, the situation that maybe amount of small, especially small hospitals in UK, uh, will be closed. So, the uh, same situations happened in the uh, in the United States, as uh, CNN reported uh, uh, this year in uh, June. Uh, the government is talking about the cut of a Medicaid budget. So that might happen that more than 600 hospitals, they are at risk of closure. So uh, it's interesting that I uh, find a very similar uh, story here in Japan. Uh, we uh, see a decreasing trend in the number of small hospitals uh, in Japan between 1975 and uh, two, 2010. As you can see here, uh, in uh, 1975, there are more than uh, 2,000 uh, small hospitals with de uh, less than 50 beds. But right now, the numbers decrease to less than 1,000. So uh, my research ob objective is to explore the uh, secure, uh, secure, uh, secular trends and the uh, de uh, geographic distribution of inpatient care in small co uh, community hospitals. Uh, between the uh, 10 years. And uh, I employ the data from a National Health Insurance database. 
And uh, in this study, we uh, include inpatient claims only. And that uh, is about uh, 26 million of uh, inpatient cases. And also in this study, I exclude uh, psychiatric hospitals and uh, other hospitals that are uh, identified as chronic hospitals. And uh, we define that uh, both uh, closed hospitals or downgraded hospitals, which means uh, the hospitals are no longer accredited as uh, small community hospitals. Then they act like uh, local clinics, uh, which means they provide uh, outpatient uh, visits only. And those hospitals are uh, both classified as a non existent hospital. And uh, I also want to mention that uh, in this study, uh, we use uh, the uh, US Medica uh, Medical Severity DRG, uh, also known as MSDRG in this study. And we, we use the version of 32, and this is the latest, uh, latest one, which supports uh, IC9CM. And although we use the uh, DRG uh, grouper from the United States, but in this study, uh, we recalibrate the DRG weight with using our cost data. Okay, so it can re, uh, best reflect uh, the situation in Taiwan. And in our study, uh, we look at two types of uh, outcomes. First one is the uh, geographic distribution. Uh, we classify the uh, geographic distribution based on the level of urbanization uh, in terms of high, median, and low. And we also look at the pattern of uh, inpatient care. Uh, actually, uh, we track three different kinds of indicators. Uh, the first one is the number of uh, DRGs, uh, which uh, provide information about uh, the uh, spectrum, the breadth of the spectrum of disease that are uh, treated by a single hospital. And we also look at a, a case mix index. Uh, these indicators represent the uh, severity of the, uh, the average severity of disease treated by single hospital. And we also look at the length of stay, which uh, may uh, reflect uh, the efficiency of uh, hospital uh, care uh, provided by a single hospital. As you can see here, uh, for those uh, acute hospitals, the, uh, again, the number decreased uh, gradually from uh, 2004 to 2010. As you can see here, and uh, uh, for those uh, hospitals located in uh, low urbanization areas, the numbers dropped from uh, 80 to uh, 59. And for those located in the uh, middle urbanization area, the numbers drop sharply from uh, two, uh, 214 to uh, 175, which is about 18% of the total hospital located uh, in this area. And if we look at uh, if we look at the number of DRGs, as you can see here, uh, I think it's not surprisingly because uh, usually uh, large hospitals provide more comprehensive care, inpatient care. So uh, regional hospitals and medical centers they. Uh, their patients uh, are covered by more than uh, it's more than uh, 500 uh, DRGs, uh, but for those uh, local small hospitals, uh, the numbers of DRGs drop sharply to less than 200. Especially, I have to uh, I want to highlight here, especially for those hospitals located high urbanization areas, the DRGs covered. Uh, their, uh, from their cases less than 100. And the trend is a little bit decreasing. And also, uh, if we look at the uh, uh, number, number of uh, case mix index, it is interesting that uh, for those small hospitals, the uh, CMI, the uh, case mix index, is increasing a little bit from, uh, by average, is from uh, less than uh, 0.8 to more than, uh, it's a closing to uh, 0.9. And we also uh, observe a decreasing trend from uh, large hospitals. 
And as you can see here, the distribution of case mixed and uh, and the volume of care is the variation is quite large between uh, small hospitals. And you may also see a uh, outline here, the red dot here at the top center. Actually, this is not a single hospital. Uh, it's a combination of 10 uh, regional hospitals. Uh, actually, it's uh, the Taipei Municipal Hospital. A couple of years ago, uh, they tried to merge 10 branches of hospital into a single hospital. And they try to do that because they want this 10 hospital to be accredited as medical center. But people was joking that how can you merge 10 high schools to become a university? <laughs> so, uh, but because they claim their inpatient data are directly from only one branch, so the volume will be very huge. And surprisingly, uh, we find the length of stays uh, grows sharply for those small hospitals. In 2004, it's about uh, 20 days or 30 days. And the numbers in 2013 is about two to three folds. Okay. So which means uh, those small uh, community hospitals are are, are acting like, more like chronic hospitals. And as you can see here, uh, the number of DRGs between exist hospitals and non-exist hospitals. Those non-exist hosp hospitals are more like to uh, provide a, a less uh, complexity of diseases, which means uh, uh, the spectrum of disease is shorter than uh, the exist hospitals. Uh, literature uh, uh, reported there are uh, four uh, uh, forces uh, drive hospital closure. Uh, the payment schemes, uh, uh, the e economies of scale, the market competitions, and the poor management of the hospital and the com uh, consumer preference. Uh, in Taiwan, our uh, national health insurance payment is linked to the uh, level of, uh, of hospitals. So uh, that's why hospitals in Taiwan, especially for those uh, middle scale and small uh, scale hospitals, they try to uh, expand their scales and get uh, accredited as medical centers. Okay. And that can lead to the consequences that they can uh, get more financial benefit from the national health insurance. And also, uh, for those small hospitals, they are suffer from the uh, not efficient, uh, uh, non-efficiency in the economic economies of scale and market competitions. And this is especially that because the launch of national health insurance in Taiwan, uh, the insurance will uh, eliminate mostly of the financial barriers for patients to seek health care. So as a patient, uh, they will tend to f uh, get treatment from larger hospitals to ensure the quality and outcomes of care. Okay. And those factors are also classified as uh, internal factors and external factors. And interestingly, uh, recently, we uh, find some um, upcoming uh, papers discussing the related topics. Uh, for some researchers, they find the disclosure, uh, uh, the closure of hospital may not affect outcomes of acute care. Okay, and there are also a few uh, papers uh, found that the geographic assets do not really uh, do not. Uh, suffer significantly if there are only a few hospitals are closed, which means uh, uh, they might not bring any change to the um, accessibility of health care. Okay. And also, uh, sorry, and also um, there's a paper uh, report, uh, report that uh, the impact may differ by the ownership and the location of closed hospitals. Uh, which means uh, if there is a 
a public hospital close or the, if there is a private hospital close, the impact may be different. So uh, in short, uh, our findings find that a dramatic decrease in the number of those uh, small community hospitals in Taiwan, a dramatic uh, decrease. And those hospitals are becoming increasingly specialized in chronic care. And also, the, uh, this kind of transformation of small hospitals, they might uh, exacerbate efficiencies in the delivery of healthcare in Taiwan. And we also want to mention that there's a need to monitor the effect of uh, hospital uh, closure on the uh, access to health care and the quality of uh, care and outcomes. Uh, I want to thank uh, the Ministry of Science and Technology to uh, support this uh, grant, uh, support this study. We get a grant from the Ministry of Science and Technology. And I also want to thank my research assistant, Ms. Chen, for the administrative, uh, administrative support. And uh, as I remember, I'll, I'm also required to uh, disclose my contribution to this study. Okay. So uh, actually, I provide the concept and uh, to find the finding, uh, fundings and do most of the data analysis. So this means I'm a one-man band here <laughs> for this study. Okay. So uh, thank you for your listening and welcome for your comments and questions. Thank you.